Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As always, there will be timestamps in the description box. So if you're just here for something specific, then you can feel free to move about the video however you please. Otherwise, we've got some new, get it? Cause that's like what the product's called. I have some new makeup from Yves Saint Laurent. I don't actually know how to say that. Yves, Yves, uh. YSL Beauty is what we're dealing with today. I have their new Bear Look Skin Tint. It was $38 and then I actually had a gift certificate to the YSL website. So I got a pretty good deal on it. They were also having a sale on a bunch of different products. So I got some lip products as well that we'll check out. But let's start by discussing this skincare makeup hybrid. So it says, not quite makeup, more than skincare. The benefits from both worlds. For low to medium buildable coverage with a bare skin finish, naturally radiant skin over time. I'm a little worried that the shade I got was a little too light for me because they didn't have great descriptions of the shades on their website. I went and looked at Sephora after I had already ordered this, <laughs> but the Sephora website has a lot better descriptions of their foundation shades. So here it is. Nothing revolutionary about this too. <laughs> so I'm always like, you know, with luxury brands, I'm ultra critical of the little stuff. The quality of the box is average. The look and feel of this tube so far is pretty average. As of right now, my face, I didn't, I haven't used any primer or anything, but I do have sunscreen on that I applied like 10 minutes ago. Just had a little bit of time to settle in. Not a lot. Whenever I try products like this and it's like a skin tint or something and I don't like it, someone or more than one someones will try to come up in the comments and clock me for not using it right. My response, if you feel like I'm not using this right or like prepping my skin right or whatever, is how I'm going to apply this is how I apply all of my foundations that I use. I review a lot of foundations and if they don't work with like my go-to basic methods of application, which frankly are that, they're, they're very basic. I don't really do anything too crazy when it comes to applying foundation. So if they don't fit that mold for me, then it's simply not worth my time and my opinion of that product is not going to be a favorable one. So don't come after me because you think I'm not using it right if I end up not liking this product. It's just my opinion. When you come to my channel, you're gonna get my opinion. You see how that works? So anyways, let's just dive in. I just wanna put that out there because I get some salty comments about like, well, you just don't even know what you're doing. And I'm like, for me, if it doesn't conform to how I normally like to do things, then it's just not gonna be worth my time, you know? So just like I do with all foundations and things, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand to start. Nice, okay, so it's like a kind of whipped texture. Pretty stiff, not gonna run down my hand. I like that. Normally with like a skin tint like this, something that's gonna be like light to medium coverage, I would use a foundation brush, but I don't have any clean foundation brushes that I like. And I always, almost always end up going back in with a sponge anyways. So we're just using a sponge, okay? So let's do it. Okay, the shade is actually working fine for me so far. Although I'm applying it with a sponge, I don't feel like it's just disappearing into my skin to start, so that's a good sign. Ooh, I like the way it smells. I gotta say medium coverage I would say is a fair descriptor for this one it definitely built up to give me a good medium ish level of coverage the finish is a little bit dewier than is my preferred finish but I can't like really fault it for that because that's what it said the finish was gonna be like it was gonna be like a radiant finish I'm liking the way that it looks on the skin it blended in really nicely and I'm not having any problems with it bunching or 
trying to be patchy or anything like that anywhere. This particular skin tint, I will say, it has like a really nice sort of brightening property to it where it's not like the coverage is not super there but the way that it like evens out your skin tone is actually really nice because it just very much like cancels out any discoloration without being like fully just a veil of makeup over it you know what I mean? does that make sense so i'm liking it so far gotta finish everything up of course so let me go do that and then we will come back and check out these lip products okay dudes and dolls i have to say that my makeup was like quick and easy today hopefully it will go the same with these lip products but i forgot to mention this as i was applying it but you probably saw me doing it i pretty much use the skin tint as concealer normally i do one concealer on my top lid and then a different concealer on my under eye I never do this and I don't know what compelled me to do it in the moment. Honestly, it's like laziness probably. <laughs> but I just kind of blended out some of it around my eye. My only concern going forward through the day is it's hot. Of course, it's been so, so hot. And the finish is kind of, it, it is a little more radiant. I used my, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? My Kiko Milano Perfecting Powder. I used this guy today. And this is a kind of sort of luminous type powder. It's not very robust in terms of any mattifying effects or anything like that, but it does give a really nice little light set. So we're really gonna get to see how the foundation wears on my skin. And I have very combo skin. Let's just check out these little lip products though. I got two of their creamy lip stains, their vi vinyl creams, just because we're doing a YSL video, I feel like it's worth mentioning. But I do also have some of their Couture Matte Stain Lippies. I've had these guys for a while. I have these two and then I have another one that's like a bright red. I just wasn't able to find it in time to do this part of the video. These are nice. They're not my most favorite, but I do really like these shades. So this one is shade 26, I guess. I don't know. This one's, it's kind of like a dusty rose type of color. And you can see how kind of like light and sheer it is. So these lighter shades that I have, they don't apply as opaque as I would like them to. And I don't find that they wear that amazing. And then this one is five, I guess. So I have 26 and five. The red one that I have does have more opacity and does wear better. So for this particular formula, I think those more vibrant shades probably do better. Anyways, let's get to these new ones that I have though. I have 415 Fuchsia Beats as well as 412 Rose Mix. If you haven't seen my ColourPop, Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain video. I will make sure to link that one so that you can check it out. I'm thinking that these are gonna be kind of along the same lines as that. So, do 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 do. So I'm gonna swatch this one 412 Rose Mix first. It looks like it's maybe a little bit corally-ish in the thing. Yeah, that one's got a little more of an orange tone to it than I really was hoping it would have you know I'm not much of a coral warm tone type of girl let's check out this one 415 fuchsia beats as well though that's really pretty that's more a color that I can jive with I'm gonna try this one 415 fuchsia beats easy to apply? No, <laughs> it was not easy to apply. Do I like this color? Yes. Do I like the way that it's looking on my lips right now? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I do. Let me try the other one. It's just like so creamy that I don't know. It's like it's not light enough or something. I don't I don't like the way it feels. And you know, had I given it a little more time, it probably would have like dried down and been fine but let's just try the other one okay that is much 
better. I'm not living for the shade, honestly. It's a little orangier, but I do like the way that it looks on my lips more than I like the way it looked swatched. And the formula of this one, Rose Mix, it's a lot lighter, airier feeling on the lips, whereas this one's a little bit thicker, ends up feeling a little heavier on the lips. So that's interesting because I kind of had a similar experience with these guys, but I'm, I'm liking this. So we're gonna do this today and that's gonna be fine. So of course, much like with every foundation review that we do around here, guys, we gotta see how it wears. So I'm gonna go do that. That, well, I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. Wish me luck. All right, friends, here I am for a little um, natural light type of a check-in. And I gotta say, it's going great so far. Um, as you can see, the lip stain is holding up beautifully. It makes me curious for the other one now, like if I had just kind of stuck it out and worn it, like would I have liked it once it kind of uh, settled down and then faded? I've I've eaten and like drinking a little bit. It doesn't transfer a lot, but it does transfer a little bit, especially while it's still pretty creamy. But the color is holding up nicely and I'm actually really liking the color now more that it's a little faded. It's really pretty. It's not what I was expecting based on the way that it looked online and then based on the way that it's swatched on my hand. So just something to keep in mind that it kind of looks different once it's on. As far as the foundation goes, let me get up nice and close. I mean, everything is really, really smooth. I am noticing a little bit of like breaking up kind of right around here and around here. Those are some major problem areas for my skin. So it's not uncommon for that to happen where it just like it's a little dry, a little rough around the edges, like right around in here. And I was kind of like not super meticulous about applying my foundation today. Honestly, I was feeling kind of lazy today. So I kind of, I like did a really quick um, application, but it feels great and it looks great. I haven't spent as much time outside today as I thought I was going to, so I haven't like really been sweating or anything. Like a little bit, just because I'm wearing a sweater and it's the summer in Texas. I don't have any concealer on right now, and I feel like it is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I've got some like random flecks of glitter from my eyeshadow, but that's okay. I guess it's been on about five hours now. We're about halfway through the day, so I will check back in when I get back home and we will see how it holds up. I'm loving it so far though, so see you soon. Hi friends. So here I am on the end of the second day of wearing my new YSL Bare Look Skin Tint. And I just gotta say you guys, I approve of this message. <laughs> I am really loving this Bare Look Skin Tint. I think that it just applies so easily and so effortlessly, it blends out beautifully with my sponge, wears spectacularly, and the finish is really, really nice. I normally am not much of a fan of Radiant Finish foundations, but there is something about this one under powder and even just under my light little Kiko Milano powder that I'm living for. I just think it's really, really nice. And I just think that it has like a really unique kind of brightening property about it where it just sort of cancels out any discoloration without being heavy in coverage. It really doesn't build up coverage that great. You can get it to like a soft medium coverage and it doesn't really go beyond that. But the way that it like really makes your skin look even and uniform. I'm really appreciative of that about it. It wears really, really nicely. I had it on for like 12 hours yesterday. It's been probably like six hours so far today. I've had a shorter, easier, more chill day. Anyways, I'm living, I'm loving. Today I have on my YSL Tatojago Couture <laughs> Matte Stain, whatever, this one in the shade 26. I actually forgot how much I really do like this shade a lot. I just don't feel like these wear that great. The stain, so the 
the 412 rose mix this one it actually wore spectacularly it stayed stained all day long the color of course kind of faded as the day went on but that's sort of to be expected I'll have to try, I'll have to give this one 415 another go. I just didn't like the way that this one felt on my lips. I don't know, it was weird. This one felt a lot better, a lot lighter. And then this just feels amazing and light and beautiful and I'm just loving it. So there we have it, fr 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 <laughs> there we have it friends. Let me know what you guys think as always do we feel like the skin tint is worth the money i have a lot of skin tints i have a lot of bb creams a lot of tinted moisturizer type of things and i think that this one has officially shot up to my number one i love the texture i love the consistency the finish the wear the everything it's really really nice also i was talking smack about the packaging but it does say or at least i thought it said maybe it was on the box and I tossed it, but it's made of like recycled material or something like that. So not amazing packaging, but we could probably forgive it, right? Anywho, that's all for me, folks. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, okay? Okay, <laughs> bye.